How is it going? I hope everyone's doing well and thank you for tuning in this video. Today I'm here with my WWE Backlash 2020 pay-per-view predictions. Of course, Backlash is live on the WWE Network as well as pay-per-view tomorrow night. And we are in for a treat because on this show, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be having the greatest wrestling match of all time between Edge and Randy Orton. It does not matter that they've had plenty of matches in the past. They had a match at WrestleMania a couple months ago in a last man standing match. They had a match at Over the Limit 2010 where Randy Orton got so fired up with his fist pumps that he hit the ground so hard he fucked his wrist up and they had to change the finish on the fly. Or Vengeance 2004, the most infamous classic wrestling match they've had, arguably the best match they've had. None of those matter though. This one does because it'll be the greatest wrestling match of all time. No other match in, ma in the past matters. No match in WWE history. No match anywhere else in any wrestling company ever. Because Edgerin Yorton at Backlash will be having the greatest wrestling match of all time. Obviously, they won't. <laughs> uh, but, you know, WWE loves their taglines. Of course, the greatest wrestling match of all time. Once in a lifetime. End of an era. WWE loves to use these taglines for their pay-per-views to sell a match. So, don't really fault them for doing it. I understand why, but it's just it's, it's just ridiculous. Because it's just like, I don't know, how can you dub something to be the greatest wrestling match of all time? Or first and foremost, hasn't even happened yet. So, how can you declare something the greatest of all time when it's never even happened? And secondly, it's like, why? what makes this match better than all their previous ones? So, I don't know. It's just a WWE tagline. But what can you do? Backlash uh, tomorrow night in pay-per-view. Seven matches scheduled. Not a whole bunch to look forward to. Like I said, the whole selling point is the greatest wrestling match of all time between Edger and Yorton. We have some other matches in the show. Uh, the Universal title match uh, between Braun Strowman, The Miz, and John Morrison. And a handicap match to me is an absolute joke. Um, what they've been doing with Braun Strowman since making the champion to me is just... I don't know. I thought putting the title on him would help him. But it seems like they're just ruining him even more. So... Yeah, that title so far has not done any favors for him. Uh, Drew McIntyre defending his WWE Championship against Bobby Lashley, which if they go out there and have a Haas fight, I'm interested in it. You know, honestly, the feud, I haven't really cared for it, but I do think those two do have the potential to go out there and have a pretty damn good, you know, title match. So McIntyre and Lashley, like I said, not too excited for it, but I will give it a chance to, uh, you know, have, be a great match. But yeah, uh, Backlash, this definitely feels like a complete and utter house show. Like, this card literally is something that you'd go to when you go to, like, a Saturday high house show for, or, you know, a WWE event. This literally was what it looks like with all the matches on this card. So, yeah, uh, not a whole bunch to look forward to. Like I said, the whole big tagline is for the greatest wrestling match of all time. Even though we, won't, we won't get that. Uh, could it be a great wrestling match? Absolutely. But the greatest? Yeah, highly doubt it, but uh yeah that's enough of me rambling on about backlash i thought we'd see more times go ahead let's go ahead and jump right into the full card as well my predictions jeff hardy versus sheamus i can see this match going either way but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and say sheamus gets the win here i think this feud will continue into extreme roles where jeff hardy will beat him so uh i can see jeff hardy getting dq'd which causes sheamus to, the, to get the win so i can see them protecting him in that route but i think sheamus gets the, the win in some capacity just to throw a win under his belt because like i said i think it'll extend to extreme roles so yeah, Sheamus is my pick to get the victory in this match. Triple threat match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. WWE Women's Tag Team Champion Sasha Banks and SmackDown Women's Champion Bayley versus the Iconics versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. I think Sasha and Bayley walk out of this match still the uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. They just won the tag team titles, so it makes no sense to me for them to lose it already. So yeah, Sasha Banks and Bayley are my pick to walk out still the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions in this triple threat match. United States Championship match. United States Champion Apollo Crews versus Andrade. Apollo Crews just won the championship, so I don't see what sense it makes to champ throw the championship back on Andrade. It should be a good match. They had a great match when Apollo won it, so I'm expecting another good one here. But yeah, I think this is an easy, successful title fence for Apollo Crews here against Andrade. Raw Women's Championship match. Raw Women's Champion Asuka versus Nia Jax. Uh, very su easy, successful title defense for Asuka here. I think Nia Jax is just kind of a filler first opponent. You know, we've seen these two go out plenty of times. It's always the same result, always, uh, which is Asuka winning. So I think it'll be no different here. So Asuka to retain the Raw Women's Championship. Two on one handicap match for the Universal Championship. Universal Champion Braun Strowman versus The Miz and John Morrison. Braun Strowman is walking out as still the Universal Champion. I don't think Miz and Morrison have a remote chance in hell at winning this match. Um, so, yeah, uh, without a doubt, Strowman to walk out still the Universal Champion. WWE Championship match, WWE Champion Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley. I think McIntyre walks out of this match still the WWE Champion. Uh, I hope these two go out there and just beat the holy hell of each other. If they have a Haas fight, uh, I think they can definitely have a match tonight. Um, you know, if they just go out there and have a killer match. 
but honestly, not really too excited about it. Um, I think it's just more of a filler opponent for McIntyre. Maybe rematch Extreme Rules, but one way or another, I do think uh, McIntyre defeats Barbara Lashley to retain the WWE Championship. And then the main event, Edge versus Randy Orton. I'm going to go ahead and say Randy Orton gets the win here. Uh, I think, you know, he's been hyping this match up to be a technical wrestling match. So I think that's going to lead to him using 30 antics to beat Edge. So I think Randy Orton walks out the victor. And I think they'll have a rubber match. Maybe at Extreme Rules. Possibly, you know, holding off till SummerSlam. So I think they'll have a third match in which probably Edge will win it there. So like I said, with all the hype of this being the greatest wrestling match, I think we'll have like a finish that's not really a clean finish. So... I think the best way to go about it is for Randy Orton to walk out the victor against Edge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed my WWE Backlash 2020 pay-per-view predictions. Like I said, Backlash is live on the WWE Network as well as pay-per-view tomorrow night. Now looking forward to it. Like I said, it just feels like nothing more of a uh, house show caliber pay-per-view. Uh, just the entire card just feels like something you see at a house show, honestly. You have your, you know, even the title matches, Strowman versus you know Miz and Morrison a handicap match like that's a house show match and you know Lashley and McIntyre that's like a title match you had a house show and then you have your big main event match between Edge and Randy Orton which would be like a big house show main event so it really legitimately just feels like a house show <laughs> but you know what I do think it'll still be a, a fine show you know I'm not expecting anything great but I think it'll be a, a you know fine two and a half hour show for what it is so you know I'm not hating on Backlash I'm just not excited for Backlash so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like below. And of course, I'm going to review tomorrow night. I'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching the video. I just want time in a tree. I need a place just for me. So